Hello dear students, we already completed Bernoulli distribution, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution and also hypergeometric distribution and the next distribution is normal distribution. So let us, uh, we will move on to the, uh, the introduction of normal distribution and who coined this concept or uh, who derived this concept of a normal distribution. Okay. The names, the historically normal distribution is associated with the names of the given the names of uh, uh, persons, those who are uh, contributed for the uh, development of this concept. Uh, the first person is uh, D. Omri Perry Laplace and Carl F. Gauss. It means that these three persons are contributed for the development of this uh, normal distribution and uh, the more contribution means uh, the major contribution is uh, done by Carl F. Gauss and initially this concept is considered okay initially this concept is considered as the study of uh, normal law of errors concept normal law of errors and the adana tamma the day to day life or kada apply maartta bartaro after that there is a uh, scope is more and there is a okay the scope and the response of this normal distribution is increasing day by day then they are going to okay introduce this concept then what is the definition for a normal distribution okay if x is a continuous random variable hang on it first before uh, uh, this concept we explains you like uh, x is a discrete random variable but in this okay if x is a continuous random variable with a probability density function not probability mass function okay the probability density function okay the f of x equals to okay 1 divided by okay root okay 1 divided by sigma okay root of 2 pi okay into e raised to minus 1 by 2 okay open bracket x minus mu okay whole square then uh, the range of x the range of x is minus infinite and plus infinite and now prati sare no bere one example Again, but if the range of x is limiting to uh, the value of small n or there may be chances the value of a depends on the given information. Again, it is don't uh, okay. Part will go part will. If that one the third problem is that part can be prepared and carried. The okay the formula is so simple for calculation. Then okay. The sigma value is also more than zero. Then x is considered as a normal variable, and the distribution of x is called as normal distribution. Then this is very very important. We have to understand how binomial distribution is converted into normal distribution, and also the Poisson distribution is also converted into or treated as a normal distribution. Okay, there are some uh, reasons and there are some conditions are there. Those conditions, okay. Binomial variator with the uh, parameters you know very well. N and P are the parameters of the binomial distributions. Then can be treated as normal variator. You are considered monthly. No, 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 no. Normal variator you are considered monthly. With the parameters mu equals to NP. Mu is nothing but mean in normal distribution. So, that's why mean or mu equals to NP and sigma equals to or the standard deviation you know very well that is root of NPQ. It means we consider in the normal distribution mu and sigma are the parameters for calculation of a normal distribution. So then these are the conditions. The first condition P and Q are almost equal, neither P nor Q is very small. And the yellow equal and the other P no sum zero dilla, Q no sum zero dilla. Ah, and the condition is that. And small n is very large, okay? And small n is very 
large and the third one is the lambda is also very large on that moment we will consider okay these parameters are converted into normal distribution parameters then one more concept will come after this that is standard normal distribution okay standard normal distributions so then uh, if z is a normal variable with a mean means mu equal to 0 and standard deviation sigma equal to 1 then z is called a standard normal variable and the distribution of z is called as a standard normal distribution then this is the formula for that okay the probability density function okay of standard normal distribution is okay f of z equals to 1 divided by root of 2 pi okay then into e raised to minus z square divided by 2 okay where the value of z lies between the minus infinite and the plus infinite okay the main formula okay this is the okay definition okay ends here only but the main uh, uh, formula for calculation of questions okay based on this okay formula this is very very important for uh, further what we going to calculate the problems we use this formula z equals to x minus mu divided by sigma this is very very important for further calculation okay these two are important for exam point of view if they ask for the definition of the standard normal distribution or normal distribution the questions will comes based on this formula okay z equals to x minus mu divided by sigma okay thank you